Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on how to build your own Zettelkasten in Notion. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Zettelkasten is a note-taking method uh, that was uh, invented by Niklas Luhmann and it is based on taking um, your notes not as a big summary but instead on focusing on writing individual key ideas uh, on separate uh, pieces of paper in the original uh, slip box and then creating connections between them and obviously now that we have a tool like Notion we can do the same much much uh, more efficient than by using a bunch of index cards and actual slip box and uh, I'm going to show you how to build this right now it is actually fairly straightforward to do so um, so you can just follow along or watch the video first and then um, see uh, try to replicate it later yourself also, uh, I will leave a quick uh, reference to a blog post uh, in the video description that you can check out for um, a bit more context on the Zettelkasten method and um, a free template uh, of the Zettelkasten. So if you don't want to build it yourself, you can just grab that. But uh, let's get started. So uh, the first thing that we will need for our <coughs> Zettelkasten in Notion is uh, the main Zettelkasten database. So I'm just going to create like a new database by hitting slash and then uh, typing um, database and that brings up our new inline database then uh, we can call it our settle custom and uh, now it's time to figure out our properties that we need so the first one first property will be uh, the name of our actual node and uh, then we want to uh, have an option to uh, connect that node to uh, a different node so what we're going to need is we need to um, change this tag property and we're going to change it to a relation. So we're going to say like this node will connect, connect to and then we're going to switch the type over to relation and we're going to say uh, let's pick our same database and then we want to um, pick this way so that uh, both nodes will actually show that they are connected. So we pick this relation and wait a second and then we get our, also our second one. Um, rename this quickly <coughs> to, uh, instead of connects to, uh, to like is connected to maybe. Awesome. And now we already have like the most simple version of a settle custom that you can build in Notion. So if I now take um, a note and uh, have another idea. And now I realize, oh, well, this node uh, actually uh, should connect to this idea. Then I can just go in here and say, oh, this connects to this one. And now you see in both of these nodes, we have a reference. And the way Settle Custom works now is that uh, we keep dropping in uh, ideas. And whenever we uh, are reminded of an idea connecting to another idea, we uh, add this connection here. And so like over time, we build this web of knowledge and um, start seeing connections where we didn't before. So uh, with just two nodes is obviously not the most fun, but the more you drop in, the better this will go. Um, but that's not all for our uh, Zettelkasten uh, template. Um, in the original Zettelkasten philosophy, um, Niklas Luhmann uh, had like different types of nodes. Uh, there were like, for example, fleeting nodes that um, describe the very first note that you take that you don't even intend to keep along uh, around but that you uh, just very just quickly jot down an idea and then later you have uh, permanent notes um, that uh, that are more refined where you put a bit more thought into it so if we want to have an option to distinguish that as well here in notion uh, we're going to add, need to add another property this property will be our type property and we want to have a single select because obviously a note can either be um, uh, a fleeting note or a permanent note or maybe a connector note that's something else uh, in the Zettelkasten philosophy so um, we need uh, these three types let's say for the beginning and we can actually uh, add an emoji uh, also here to make this uh, a little bit more interesting so for our fleeting note we can do something like uh, maybe an hourglass uh, to, uh, as a symbol that this one won't stick around forever. So let's call this our fleeting note. And then we're going to add also a permanent one. And maybe the permanent one is um, a book or like some stack of notes. Um, permanent note. And now we have like uh, these nice uh, selectors and we can change this maybe to blue. Perfect. So now we have also a way of uh, labeling uh, our um, 
nodes and um, maybe we also want to tag them so for that we create like again a separate property just call it tags and then um, pick this time the multi-select and now we can add any tags to a node that we want uh, one word of caution with tags it's very easy <laughs> to go overboard uh, usually less is better otherwise you'll just end up with like a, this huge huge library of tags and can't figure out uh, what <laughs> is supposed to be what um, there are also like some some further remarks on that in the in the blog post in the video description so if you're curious to learn more about how to use tags uh, efficiently definitely go check that out awesome so now we uh, our set of customs already taking some form but um, now imagine you have like a few hundred uh, of these nodes and would like um, to actually um, see uh, which ones are your most important nodes. So like which are, uh, maybe there are like some ideas that emerge as particularly central. And if you have like a, a ton of them, like uh, you would want to have a way to actually see that. Uh, luckily uh, in Notion, it's pretty easy to do that. And all we need for it is um, a new property or a formula property. Uh, and then like a nifty formula that calculates um, how important or how central our node is. And we can do that easily by just looking at how many um, other nodes does this node connect to or how many other nodes connect to this node. Uh, and by calculating that number, we we'll get like a pretty good indicator of how central this node is. So let's just go ahead and create this. Uh, maybe we can call this just like our central um, or any other name. Pick the formula property and then we're going to craft the formula. Actually, uh, wait a second, uh, we don't even need a, a complex formula. Luckily, uh, most of this is already built into Notion uh, if we know how to use um, uh, rollups. So uh, instead of like uh, crafting a complicated fo uh, formula, let's uh, go ahead and do that, which is much easier. So for that, we need actually two more properties. Uh, we need one for the score of our connections, and we need uh, another one for our mentions. So the connections will be the things that they connect to, and mentions how much other one. Uh, nodes connect to it. And we will select a rollup. And rollups uh, are uh, quite confusing if you are getting just started with Notion, but um, if you uh, understand them once, uh, you can uh, actually use them in super powerful ways. So uh, the way they work is to create a rollup, you always need to have a relation first. Rollups, uh, as also the, the indicator here uh, shows, are a way of taking uh, information from um, a different part of Notion and displaying it here. Uh, that sounds a bit complicated, but makes a lot of sense if you think about uh, how relations usually work. Usually we have two different databases, right? One, for example, one um, task database and one project database. And uh, if we have now a relation between the projects and the tasks, then um, a rollup can help us display information from the other database. So if we have, if we are in our projects database and we have like 10 tasks connected and in our tasks database, we always have like a, a, an estimated time of how long that task might take. Then we could use a rollup in the projects uh, database to uh, show that estimated time that lives in the other database in our uh, project database. Now, in this case, uh, obviously uh, we have um, uh, both uh, connections uh, live in the same database, so there's not really a point to uh, pulling information uh, in and out, but we can still use uh, the uh, other ways of displaying data that uh, a um, uh, rollup opens up. And uh, I'm gonna just show you what I mean with that, and I hope then it becomes a bit more clear. So, as you can see, we can configure our rollup here. So, first we need to pick our relation, we only have um, these two. Uh, relation uh, properties in this database and we're going to pick like the connects to one for this one and now we can see we can pull in information so uh, right now it pulls in the information from the name property and shows the original so uh, as you can see uh, this one uh, connects to another idea so what the rollup does is it goes into the entry of another idea and then takes this uh, property and displays here the original so I could also swap this to um, maybe the type. Then you would see, okay, this has a permanent node. Or I could swap it over to both tags are empty, but uh, is connected to, and then it would show some node. Uh, 
Um, and we have other ways of displaying the data too. We can, uh, instead of just showing the original, we can count and uh, show the uh, different um, count that's empty, count the values, and so on and so on. So what we want to do is we want to actually say, okay, uh, the name is fine. We want to go into uh, our connections and see how many of these are there. So how many different um, ideas connect to this one. So we want to have the count or property. And now all of a sudden you can see, ah, we have a score of one. And Notion does all of that fast. So if we add now like uh, one last idea and say, okay, this one also connects to the last idea, then we see our uh, score automatically goes up to two. Awesome. So now we just need to repeat the same thing for dimensions. So we do like a score for dimensions, go into relation, settle cast, oops, no, sorry, I don't want to build a new relation. We want uh, obviously a roll up. So score mentions, uh, we pick our is connected relation, name is fine, and again, we say count all. And now uh, we have these two scoring uh, uh, mechanisms that update automatically. And then all we need to do for our formula is actually just <laughs> add these two up. So we say uh, this uh, plus this one, and <laughs> that's, oops, wait, those are the string ones. We need this property and we need this property and sum them up and here are our scores. So uh, what we can now do is we can create like a, a new view and say, okay, these are our uh, central nodes. And we can uh, create a filter and say, okay, please sort this by how many connections, uh, like how many connections uh, there are. And now if we have like a, a ton uh, of uh, nodes at some point later, we can always quickly see our most important nodes up top. Again, with just three nodes, <laughs> that's not uh, really uh, very important, but uh, the more nodes you get in here, the more crucial that will be. And yeah, that's already how you build a super simple Zettel custom template in Notion. Obviously you can do now a lot more things as well. You could build yourself a dashboard uh, to see information in a better way. You could uh, build a um, function to automatically randomly show you uh, different nodes uh, uh, like uh, every day. Uh, all these kind of things are definitely possible and um, you can play around and uh, add, edit them for yourself and uh, see what you can do or you can uh, go into the video description, click on the link blog post and download my Zettel custom template which is a bit more advanced than this super uh, simple version where you have all these features. If you uh, download the template uh, of in the video description, then this is what you will get. Um, a slightly more advanced version of the super simple saddle cast <laughs> that we just built. And I'm just gonna quickly walk you through how it works so that you uh, can get started right away. As you can see, we have here a slightly more complex dashboard uh, with some information <clears throat> about our saddle custom, but at the core, it's just the same uh, database. So if we click into here, you can see, okay, it's a similar structure. We have our name um, property, we have the two connectors, and we have um, fields for the type and for tags. One other thing is here as well, that's the novelty score. That's a concept by Ali Abdal where when you first uh, encounter an idea or a new topic, you uh, give it a score between one or five or one in 10 um, to uh, indicate how surprising and how uh, insightful you found that idea at the moment where you first encountered it. And what this uh, is supposed to do is when you uh, revisit um, your notes, uh, so let's say three or six months uh, down the line, and you've already read a lot about the topic, then uh, things that in the beginning seem very um, yeah, new and exciting to you now probably uh, are kind of boring and obvious. But if you were to say write a blog post uh, on uh, like this topic and you want to target uh, beginners, then it's a good idea to include these things that uh, even now you think they are very obvious and they don't need to be said. Uh, for like a beginner, this is like a very, very new idea. So this novelty score is just like a help to, for you to uh, remind, uh, remind you, okay, this was actually like very new and insightful at the time when I first heard about it. So if I write for a beginner, I should definitely include this. Uh, but apart from like these few changes, it's just the same core database as the one that we just built. 
um, on the dashboard, you then have like uh, some entry for quick capture. So if you want to just jot down like uh, uh, a great uh, new idea, you can uh, do that. And that would be obviously a fleeting node. Mm. And then you have your inbox where all these uh, fleeting nodes uh, will appear. And then once you uh, polish it a bit uh, and have like some, some more context, uh, you can just then drag and drop it into one of these other uh, parts and it will disappear out of your inbox. To uh, the right, you see um, a discovery um, uh, uh, database where that will show you uh, a random selection of uh, your notes every time you open the page. Um, now, obviously, we only have uh, six or seven uh, notes in total, so it's not really necessary. But once you fill this up and have like a few hundred in here, uh, it will be very easy to just lose uh, notes altogether, right? Uh, and with this uh, neat little function, um, you uh, will always see like a different random selection so that uh, like the ones that uh, actually get lost uh, in, <laughs> in, the, in the depths of your, uh, your other notes uh, will resurface from time to time. And yeah, every time you reload the page, this will just be in a, in a new order. Um, you also have some uh, projects, so if you want to organize your notes a bit more and not just uh, with tags, you can actually like, uh, create specific research projects and then create uh, connecting notes to those. And then at the very bottom, we have the central notes section uh, that use uh, the formula and the rollups that we just built before uh, and like just counts, okay, how many connections does it have and then sorts according to that. So. Uh, that's it uh, for this, uh, again, super simple Zettel Custom template. If you want to download it, click on the link in the description and you will get it for free. Uh, that's also it for this uh, quick tutorial today. I hope uh, you learned uh, how to build a super simple Zettel Custom template. If you still have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, drop a comment uh, below and I'm happy to help you. And yeah, if you're curious about Notion and want to level up your Notion game, then definitely uh, give me a follow because I will uh, release a lot more uh, videos about Notion, how to use it uh, in the future, both very simple uh, tutorials like this one and far more advanced uh, tutorials on things like how to use the API to scale uh, your workflows and really supercharge Notion. So yeah, uh, this was a, a nice short video to make and I hope you enjoyed it.